Good afternoon, dear friends. Very close to the modern Israeli resort city of Eilat, right on the shores of the famous Red Sea, is the border crossing between the state of Israel and Egypt. This border crossing is called Taba. If you cross this border point, you can get into the territory of Egypt, and then through the so-called island of the pharaohs, a small uninhabited rocky island in the Gulf of Aqaba between the Sinai and Arabian peninsulas, you can get to the Sinai Peninsula. Sinai is located between Asia and Africa, between the Mediterranean Sea to the north and the Red Sea to the south. The area of the peninsula is 23,166 square miles. In ancient times, Sinai was called Arabia Petria, but in our time, Sinai got its name because of the mountain of the same name, located next to the monastery of St. Catherine. And this mountain is mentioned in the Bible. The highest point in Sinai is Mount St. Catherine at 8,651 feet above sea level. The monastery of St. Catherine itself is located at the foot of Mount Sinai or Horeb at an altitude of 5,118 feet above sea level. Initially, the monastery was called the Monastery of the Transfiguration of the Lord or the Monastery of the Burning Bush, and since the 3rd century AD, the monks lived here. But since the 11th century, in connection with the spread of veneration of the Holy Great Martyr Catherine of Alexandria, the monastery began to be called the Monastery of St. Catherine. The first monks who settled here led a hermetic life in the Faran oasis around the burning bush. They lived alone in the caves and only on big holidays they gathered together for worship at the burning bush. The monastic community was supported in the 4th century by Empress Helena, mother of Emperor Constantine. In the 6th century the monastery was supported by Emperor Justinian the Great. According to the Chronicle of Eutychus of Alexandria, in order to protect and maintain the monastery, Emperor Justinian resettled 200 families from Pontus of Anatolia and Alexandria to Sinai. The descendants of these settlers formed the Sinai Bedouin Jabale tribe. Despite the conversion to Islam that occurred in the 7th century, they continued to live in the vicinity of the monastery and engage in its maintenance. Among the well-known abbots of the monastery were the famous Saint John of the Ladder. The monastery of Saint Catherine during the period of the Arab conquest of Sinai in 625, sent a delegation to Medina to enlist the patronage of the Prophet Muhammad himself. A copy of the safe conduct received by the monks, the Firman of Muhammad, exhibited in the monastery, proclaims that Muslims will protect the monastery and also exempt it from paying taxes. The original of the document itself has been kept in Istanbul since 1517, where it was claimed from the monastery by Sultan Selim I. The firman was written on the skin of a gazelle in Kufic handwriting and sealed with a handprint on the Prophet Muhammad himself. May the bishop or priest not be replaced from their places and the monk not be expelled from his monastery. Let not a single one of their churches or chapels be destroyed, and let nothing belonging to the churches be used for the construction of mosques or Muslim houses. However, despite the privilege received, the number of monks began to decline, and by the beginning of the 9th century there were only 30 of them left. 
with the spread of Islam in Egypt, a mosque appears in the monastery, which has survived to this day. During the period of the Crusades from 1099 to 1270, there was a period of revival in the monastic life of the monastery. The Sinai Order of the Crusaders took on the task of guarding the pilgrims from the Europe heading to the monastery whose number increased. During this period, a Catholic chapel appears in the monastery. After the conquest of Egypt by the Ottoman Empire in 1517, the Turkish authorities did not reduce the rights of the monks. Sultan Selim I confirmed the key points of Mohammed's firman. They retained the special status of the archbishop and did not interfere in the internal affairs of the monastery. The central cathedral of the monastery is the Basilica of the Transfiguration of the Lord. The main structure of its columns was built in the period of Emperor Justinian the Great. It is noteworthy that the doors of the central entrance to the basilica with hand-carved Lebanese cedar from the 6th century period have been preserved. Burning bush in the Pentateuch of Moses are burning but not burning bush in which God appeared to Moses, who was grazing sheep in the desert near Mount Sinai. When Moses went to the bush to see why the bush burns with fire, but is not consumed, God called to him from the burning bush, calling to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt to the Promised Land. In the Orthodox monastery of St. Catherine on Sinai Peninsula, a bush is revered which, according to tradition, is considered a burning bush. Not far from the burning bush is the well of Moses, where, according to the Bible, Moses met the seven daughters of the Midian priest Reguel. The well currently continues to supply the monastery with water. Next to the monastery is the church of St. Trifon and the ossuary with the relics of the monk Stefan Sanoi. The museum's collection of icons, sacred texts of the library and various items of church art are a priceless treasure. The most valuable exhibits are in the unique museum of the monastery of St. Catherine, as well as in the library and the repository of texts. Particular attention is drawn to the unique and caustic icons made in the ancient Byzantine technique, when the burden is wax and the icons were made with paint with a melted wax. Of the well-known images, the icon of Christ Pentocrator, the icon of the Apostle Peter and others have been preserved.
the upper part of Mount Sane or Horeb at an altitude of 7496 feet is called the Mount of Moses or the Tablets of the Covenant. Tradition says that the Prophet Moses climbed here alone to receive the Tablets of the Covenant. Fifty years ago, on the top of this mountain, a small church of the Holy Trinity was built on the ruins of a church of the Byzantine period that once existed here. For those who may deny it climb to the majestic Mount Moses, the way to the top of which, in one direction, could be four hours. Here, on the top of Mount Moses, a beautiful view of the majestic mountains around during the dawn opens. Dear friends, a big hello to all from Israel. Subscribe to our channel, like, write comments, press the super thanks button, become sponsors of our channel. Health and good mood to all and big greetings from me and Laura from Jerusalem.